fam. Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. This is part two. So make sure if you have not watched part one, you go watch that first before you watch part two. So diving back in. Yeah, it's like you're understanding the importance of a tempered energy. Whether this is you or like just tempered energy, like being in relationships. Like, you know, I want to reach these goals. I want to build this. I want to create this. Especially when it comes to like family dynamics, stability, like. having your own goals and stuff like that even even if you do have people that you want to work with and stuff like that you still need to have your own goals and your own aspirations separate from other things you know you have all the tools you need to increase your income good fortune is coming soon an opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talent you're manifesting this yeah some of y'all had to somebody's growing up here you had to grow up here yeah independent this is like breaking free of codependencies. Realizing like I can't depend on another person to, to you know, make me stay. But it says avoid, avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. This is like recognizing like, dang, I can manifest the type of life I want. Or I can manifest, manifest what it is I desire. And I don't have to depend on nobody else. Stability. Oh my God, this is what this reading's about, stability. Your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money-related ventures. This is like getting out there and saying, you know what? Like, say you're, you're sitting around, you're like, man, like, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to do that, da, 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 da. But you're constantly like, like for me, for me, for example, I was like, man, like, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to take my kids here, do this with my kids. But I was constantly going to Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? And spending money on Starbucks drink. And I started to realize like how much I was spending every day. And you're like, oh my God, like this is ridiculous. And then instead of taking that money and going to Starbucks every day, I took it, set it aside. And I was like, okay, now this is the the kid fund budget, you know, <clears throat> family fund budget. And so you take it and you put it aside. And then when you get enough, you say, okay, let's go do this. Let's go do this, you know? That's how I was doing it. That's how I'm able to like do certain things. I set a certain budget aside and you don't have to do much. It could be like $5 here, $6 here, $2 here, $3, whatever you need to. I'm saying just to enjoy time, you know, or live the life that you want. You want to do fun things or you want to travel. You want to, you got to be willing to make some sacrifices. So I do see y'all, if y'all been having money problems or you feel like stuff isn't going anywhere. You feel like stuff isn't happening for you. That's changing. And it all has to do with you being in your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Being that leader in your life type of energy. This is good. I like this energy. This is really good energy here. What other? Let's clarify that. Because, yeah, I see now there's 10 of pentacles in reverse, unexpected changes. Somebody else could be going through this or somebody else could be taking huge losses. Okay. Uh, if, especially if you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and stuff like that. Like some of y'all, maybe y'all have already taken this loss, you know. Yeah. Nine of swords. Ten of, for some of y'all, somebody could be feeling, if this is like a, say this is a family member or something like that. Somebody feels like they are... They took a loss with you because they're not experiencing this life with you or they're, yeah, they could be watching Page of Swords. This could be gossip going on, Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody could be gossiping about this. Somebody could be admitting defeat with that Seven of Wands in reverse too. Like, whoever this is, this is like misery needs company type of energy with this Queen of Swords in reverse though. Like, they they could be miserable, disappointed because things aren't working for them. They're feeling delayed in some sort of way with this Page of Swords. They could be taking some sort of ill when it comes to their Ten of Pentacles. You know, this could be like another family member or somebody else just watching you and money's not going the way they want to or their stability is not going the way they want to and they're looking at you and they, be, they may be thinking like, oh my God, they have it easy. When really you don't, you're doing the same thing. You budgeting. You just budging. Maybe you don't get. Maybe like instead of going to get your nails done, you do them at home. Or maybe instead of going going to get your eye your lashes done, you do them at home. Or maybe instead of going to get that hair done, because maybe I be seeing some people 
paying to get their hair done. Jesus. More power to you because I don't see how you do it. If I had to pay that much to get my hair done, I'm going to tell you right now, I would be bald. I'd be bald-headed <laughs> and rocking it because I'm not paying. Baby, I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. I'm sorry. I be bald as I don't know what I cut all this off. <laughs> like I can't, I can't do it. No. Or this could even be like maybe, maybe you're used to going out to eat all the time. You you cut back on that, and then somebody's like, "Well, how you how can you afford going to travel, or how can you afford to do this?" Well, I stopped doing certain things and started cooking at home, or you know, stuff like that. But somebody else with this nine of swords here, they it's it's like they stressed out about your about something that's not working in their life and they're watching you i'm getting like somebody watching you now i'm seeing like a glasses like somebody looking through glasses look at somebody can wear glasses but they're watching you and their situation may not be going good but, uh, sounds like projection to me okay but this and this could be somebody that i don't know let's see that's by the wings with the tree Clarify the wings energy. The wings energy. Inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. So yeah, something's coming in for you. Y'all about to come into like a lot of abundance or a lot of stability in some sort of way. The number 16 could be significant. Or the 16th. 27, push the surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. And maybe this is what you start to realize. Like, man, I got to push through this. I got to overcome this. Or this is spirit telling you, keep pushing because you're almost there. You're almost there. You're about to get everything that you desire here. You just got to push through a little bit, a little bit longer. What's tree? 39, back on task. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you are working on. All could use some fine tuning. Goes again. Y'all, these, these cards is carding right now. Maybe these cards is card. What did it say again? Goes. Don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This will be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. Focus on creating and managing a budget. Some of y'all, maybe that's all you need to do is like budget better. Get back on task. Like it's okay to go out, have some fun. It's okay to enjoy yourself. But don't forget, get back to work. You know what I'm saying? bottom of the deck 10 every step counts there is an advantage in taking things slowly breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options there's no need to rush into anything you know what i'm saying slow down a little bit you ain't got to rush into a relationship or you don't got to rush out and get the new fanciest car or rush to get this accomplished or get nothing this is not a race <laughs> we we are not in competition with nobody as long as you focus on your own plate and your own lane doing your own thing you don't have no other reason whatsoever to be trying to keep up with somebody else. Your blessings is not their blessings. Your path is not their path. And that's what somebody else may not be realizing. That's why they sitting over here stressed out or this is how you were at one point in time. Spirit is telling you don't do that. Don't look at what everybody else has. It's not about what they have. Okay. I don't know who needs to hear that. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like you're the one kind of like soaring forward. Good things happening for you. And <clears throat> you're constantly like having to reset yourself. Like, okay, I can do this. I can do that. But let me get back on track. You know, let's see. Let me take a swig out. All right. So what about the coffin card? Now there's some sort of bad investment. I, now I don't know if this is you or somebody else, but I'm going to read it from Scorpio's point of view. Watch who you're investing in. Bad investment. What's that coffin card? What if I bad investment for Scorpio? The lovers in reverse. Some of y'all is a relationship or partnership. Okay. There could be trust issues, disharmony here with the, look at that little dog. <laughs> little tail wagon. <laughs> um, somebody could be lacking accountability here. <clears throat> in regards to like a <clears throat> oh my god hold on y'all I gotta clear my voice hold on sorry I didn't want to do all that in your ear again part for part one you'll see why my voice is all jacked up I was out and about screaming and hollering with my kids 
in a fun way. <laughs> And so my voice is trying to go out on me. But uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to shed this. If there was like some sort of disharmony. Or like maybe you've just been working with certain people. Maybe somebody was very possessive. This is also be careful with being too generous to certain people and situations where you can't trust certain folks. Detach if you need to the people that you know ain't doing them. But like just sucking your life force to a straw too. Okay, let's see. I just stabbed myself in the mouth. Clarify the coffin card for Scorpio. Clarify the coffin card for Scorpio, please, Spirit. We got the four. That was just at the bottom of the deck, and it just popped out. Yeah, some of y'all, make sure you're detaching. There are certain relationships and connections that you don't need to be, like, trusted and given to, okay? Some of these people are already showing you who they are, and it's just best to kind of, like... let go of these type of connections that you know are bad investments that you know you're not getting equal reciprocity from or like um knight of cups here like they come in they try to show up like this perfect person or ideal man or woman they're not they have not changed they're they're you, you know be careful with that um maybe you're disconnected from this person because I don't know, you work with this person or something, it has something to do with like an exchange of money or energy. This could be a type of person that lacks accountability for their own ways and stuff like that. So uh, maybe they always cause conflict between y'all. There was some sort of conflict here and now they could be coming in riding on this, this uh, horse here, try to bow down to you like, hey, <laughs> is we cool? No, we're not. Let them go. Yeah, baby tower. Because it, it's like all it's going to bring is disaster. <laughs> baby, the tower and the ten of swords. This this person still ain't no good. Be careful who you're investing in because it don't look good. I mean, and they may only want to come towards you because you're generous, you know? Like, oh, well, I know Scorpio's generous. I know Scorpio, but... <laughs> Me and Scorpio, I don't need, you know, Scorpio don't trust me. You know, Scorpio don't fool me. But they still could be trying to hold on to you or you were holding on to the connection because maybe there was love there. But baby, this here, this person is not taking accountability. What's the coffin? There is something better. There is something better. Whoever the, whoever the freak tard this person is, there is something better other than this person or this connection or this relationship. Maybe you're now seeing it, Okay offering the universe will meet all your needs consider having a money altar call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time baby for some of y'all this person could have offered y'all relationship up others of you you could be releasing this relationship and say okay spirit i'm opening up the uh the universe divine god whatever you believe i'm opening myself up to new beginnings to new energy to new people to new opportunities because this here i see is not a good opportunity this this the type of relationship where they only want to come around you because they know you generous they know you're gonna give to them you see what i'm saying but you're not gonna get nothing back nothing back from this justice and th that's the scales are balancing out by you moving on something in your life needs to be brought into alignment in your life your career may be in law such as police military and courts or the criminal justice some of y'all could do that or be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you'll face the consequences. And that could have been what it was. You know, maybe you were too generous in a situation and it wasn't equally yoked, but you were doing it because maybe y'all loved each other at one point or you cared for this person, you cared about their well-being. They did not do it for you. This person lacks accountability. And Spirit is saying it's okay long as you're standing upright about money situations and stuff like that you're being honest and stuff like that things will come into alignment for you for some of y'all the reason why your life things aren't coming into alignment because you're still attached to this type of person you keep giving to whoever this person is and on the bottom of the deck it says ring so financial commitments long-term investment partnership work together fulfilling a career some of y'all could have been married to this person or been in some sort of binding contract maybe you have something uh, some sort of property or something like that attached to this person. 
but whoever this is, child, mm -mm. they are not. But they keep trying to show up like they're the ideal person now. They not. Now, butterfly, sudden change, frivolous spending. So, what's the butterfly here for Scorpio? Let the four swords in reverse. Finding the mental strength to move on. Rejoining the world. Getting back out there. Coming out of isolation. Maybe some of y'all isolated yourself. The will of fortune in reverse. This, yeah. Maybe you felt like you were going through bad luck or people were wishing bad upon you. That could be what it is. Um, there could have been like a lot of disruption in your life. Unwelcome change. Delays happening in your life. But you're getting back out there. You're getting back out there. And it could have been because you were attached to this piece of shite person whoever this was maybe you weren't ready to give to other people yet or open back up to other people because somebody kept keeping you in this 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 um some of y'all y'all could have even been like holding on to like like I, I i hope this person makes things right they're they're not they don't want to this is some of y'all could even be kind of nervous to like step step back out there and work and collaborate with other people because somebody did you so bad, you know? But I see you rejoining the world. I see you getting the mental strength to overcome whatever this was. What's the butterfly? The justice in reverse. Okay. <clears throat> I think you're going to be more cautious, the strength card. Yeah, whatever this is, I feel like you're going to have the strength to overcome it. Like this is, things are going to be changing for you. You're going to be having like new opportunities coming. There could also, okay, random. Hold on, spirit. They throwing me every, I just felt dizzy for a second. They trying to throw me off. For some of y'all, y'all got somebody coming in that has been quiet or like they... They haven't been around you for a while because the relationship could have been like this. And they're trying to come back. And they may try to do it in a way of like um, spending money on you or um, all of a sudden like outpouring like this, this energy towards you. But it's because they know that they have lacked accountability and something. It's kind of like a cover up though. Like let me let me go throw this, this money and this on Scorpio real quick so they can't see that I'm still lacking accountability for what I did in the past. Like this is somebody trying to like cover up um their the the something they've already done. Okay. So don't don't be too gullible because they're trying to like make you sweep something under the rug. But others of you I feel like you're just finding the mental strength to overcome this injustice, whatever this was. And this here is going to allow you to come into this energy this butterfly energy of abundance because you're transforming you're transforming and you're coming out stronger and more powerful some of y'all are overcoming conflict egos clashing uh anxiety fears see, like people secretly trying to like destroy you with this five of swords too some of y'all could be a queen of wands or maybe somebody wanted to treat you like you was a queen of wands no or somebody, somebody could have been doing this because you're very attractive. You're, you're very high vibrational, attracting things as well. Let me see. What's at the top? Knight of Pentacles. Why do I feel like somebody is like, they wanted to make you feel like you weren't worthy or valuable or something. So they wanted to just like underpay you or keep something stagnant or... This would be somebody that you're not inspired to, to go towards anymore. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that has like poor financial decisions too. I don't know who this person... Spirit is just saying stay centered, stay grounded. Because I don't know why this energy trying to come back towards you or whatever. Or why this energy... What's the butterfly child? Networker. It may be time to create or reach out to your network of people who will help you consider a career in marketing, promoting sales, or any professional networking job and make the most out of the resources you have to improve your finances. And some of y'all, this could be what you're doing. Windfall. You're about to receive a windfall of money or pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle. This is a great time to treat yourself or make that big purchase. Some of y'all could be getting ready to purchase something too. But some, why do I feel like somebody feels it's unfair or unjust but 
it, it's giving me, if it's this person that was a bad investment that you're no longer giving to because there was a fallout or you felt like you were just, like somebody was taking advantage of your generosity in some sort of way, it just... Somebody feels spited because you won't share what you've earned. Even if it's like a windfall of money, it's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, child. Arguments. This could be arguments over money. Be on guard with who you deal with in terms of any money related matters. Make sure everything is in order to avoid monetary problems. There could be some financial disputes. Some of y'all, there's an argument. Watch who you're working with. If you've already done this, there could be like a falling out between you and a coworker or something like that. And y'all could be arguing about money. I don't know. Coffin. But you need to stay grounded, okay? What's the coffin? Clarify the coffin card. 44. Unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. See, it's like good things are happening. I don't know if y'all could be on two different sides of karma, child. You could be on the good side of karma and this person on the bad side of karma. But it has to do with the energy that you've been putting out. You, the spirit is keep telling you to stay grounded and centered. There's a lot of green energy here. Earthly energy. So good things, 44. That's about stability. 21, enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. Some of y'all, there's a past relationship where you are overly generous to a person and spirit is letting you know, don't focus on that because there is something so much better coming in for you. Especially if you feel like something was a bad investment, like it just, it just, <laughs> I'm here to take my breath away. <laughs> I don't know. Like it just, what's the butterfly card? What's the butterfly card for Scorpio? Uh-oh, hold on, y'all. I didn't drop it. Hold on. <clears throat> 29, empower yourself. Tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. And this is a swordfish. Beautiful, elegant, but dangerous at the same time. So, like, yeah, you might have to, like, defend yourself or speak your truth in some sort of way is what I'm getting off of that card about some sort of corruption here. But the Spirit is telling you to stand in your power. 22, take note. Your answers are being given to you. Quieting external, I'm sorry, quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. So somebody could be coming forward offering something to try to work with you here. But again, empower yourself. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful. Don't back down. Whatever this financial thing is, don't back down, Scorpio. If something was in dishonesty, lack of, because somebody's trying not to take accountability for for something, and spirits like, no, 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 Scorpio, don't, 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 no, you've been generous enough. You've been generous enough. You don't have to do that anymore. Stand your ground on something. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get you a, a fortune cookie and then I'm gonna end this off and we're gonna go to something else. Okay, we're gonna do another reading. But this will be this is part two to part one. If you did not watch part one, make sure you go back and watch it. All right. Other messages for Scorpio. And I'm gonna I pull some initials on this because that may be of importance. Challenges take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. And that could be what it is. Uh, Scorpio, just kind of approach it in, in a soft manner, but stand your ground. Be firm. You know what I'm saying? In this. Like, don't back down on it. Like, I mean, this is the facts. This is what happened. This is what it is. And boo, 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 boo. Okay? You ain't got to argue. You ain't got to go back and forth, you know? Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Some of y'all, this is somebody that's jealous of you. And that's why they're trying to come at you like this. That's why they're trying to lack accountability. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. That's That butterfly energy, that's what's going on for you. Something is transforming in your life 
where things are getting better for you. Sudden change, where you can maybe have some extra money to spend and stuff like that. Maybe you've been going through it, right? And now your life is changing. You're able to get back out there and do certain things. And this person, they feel like it's not fair, but it's because they aren't taking, they aren't taking accountability for what's going on in their own freaking life, right? So <clears throat> let's get you some initials and zodiac signs that you may be dealing with. And I'm going to end it off. Thank y'all for all the likes, shares, and subscribes on the channel. Thank y'all for the returning subscribers. And welcome to all the new ones. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope y'all are enjoying this content. This was an interesting reading. I like it, though. All right. Who's Scorpio dealing with spirit? Who is it that Scorpio is dealing with? Who is Scorpio dealing with? All right, let's end it there. Okay, W is at the bottom of the deck. So some, somebody can have the initial W. Jim, not now I'm hearing, we will, we will rock you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's significant. Maybe you're hearing that or you went to a game or I don't know. We have the initial R, F. Somebody's name could be Frank. I just heard Frank. Z, Zephron. Okay, J. JR, somebody's name could be JR, Jeffrey, Libra, initial D, K, Caden, I heard Caden, R, O, we have an Aries, Aries again, so Aries is heavy, it's here twice, we have the initial E, Kiki, Kilani, Keegan, Caden, September, A, D, Drake, Virgo, T, E, Scorpio, and the month of June could be significant. So September and June could be significant. We have Gemini, Libra, uh, Aries, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Keith, something about a road could be significant. It's just about that road or something you could live on. Uh, something, 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 road, okay? That could be what it is like. Instead of drive, you could live on road. That could be significant. Okay. T. Somebody's name could be T. 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 Somebody. T. T. Edith. Ethan. Okay. All right. Well, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all for watching. And I was, somebody's name could be DJ. And I, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.